Hi there, and welcome to this lesson on the rate determining step of a reaction. In our last lesson, we learned about hard lives and the time taken, the time that it takes for a reaction concentration to half and how that looks graphically. In this lesson, our key learning objective is looking at the rate determining step. The rate determining step, it's the slowest step of a reaction and it determines the overall rate, like a bottleneck. So any reaction involved in the step that follows the rate determining step will not be included in the rate equation. Intermediates are not part of the rate equation, but sometimes catalysts are. The rate determining step is always the slowest step, but it's not always the first step in a reaction. Here's a worked example. Pause the video if you want to give it a go, but I'll work through it after. In this reaction, we can see that step two is the slowest step. So this is the rate determining step. Step one is faster than step two. However, step two depends on the product of step one. This means that step one is also going to affect the rate of reaction. All of the reactants, so I can type this here, all of the reactants of both step one and step two will need to be included in the rate equation. So the rate equation So K, our rate constant, times F times G times C. Using order of reaction to find the rate determining step, let's use an example here. So we've got C4H9Br reacting with an alkali. So it's got two possible reaction mechanisms. But the overall reaction is going to look like this. So butanol plus bromine. So let's have a look at our two possible mechanisms. If I write my overall reaction at the top again, plus OH minus, and that was giving us C4. So mechanism one is that we have two steps. So the first step we will end up removing a bromine ion, and we would say that is the slow step. And then we take, now of course that's gonna end up the plus charge, we take our remaining cation and we can add on our OH. And that step of the two is going to be the faster one. But our other mechanism is just one step and it's effectively the overall reaction that I've got at the top. And this is slow. So let's look at this in more detail. Experiments have shown that one bromobutane has a second order mechanism for this reaction with this equation. So rate is equal to K So this is what we can get from our experimental results. And the rate is dependent upon the concentration of bromobutane and the concentration of the hydroxide ions. You can see because it is in that rate equation. And so that is suggesting that mechanism two that I showed you on the previous slide is the correct mechanism. So mechanism two, if I rewrite that here, it was C4H9Br plus OH minus, and that gave us Here's another question to have a practice at, and then I'll go through a worked example. The rate equation, as we can see, it contains NO, and we can see that it's second 
order. So this suggests that two moles of NO are used. So could be step one. Okay, because we can see here, two moles of NO used. However, H2 is also included. So the rate determining step is step two. Okay, so this step here, step two. Because we've got our products that involve the two moles being needed, and then it's also got our H2 